Hey everyone, I was asked by a few to share how I've been killing Revenants lately since I've had a fair bit of luck there. This is a guide for anyone wanting to know how to kill them efficiently, so let's jump right into it. Before we begin though, I just want to say that this guide is more geared to players who have decent combat stats, but if you're a lower level, still feel free to follow along as many points I make also apply to lower levels as well. Alright, so there are two main ways that you can kill Revenants. You can either use melee or ranged. Now, Revenants are weak to crush, so the Elder Maul is without a doubt the best weapon to use against them. If you can't afford an Elder Maul because I know it's rather expensive, or maybe you just feel uncomfortable having that much money in the wilderness, you could definitely use a God Sword. Now, I would pick the Bando's God Sword out of all the four, reason being its special attack is most useful when compared to the others because it lowers the defense, which can come in quite handy when you're there. Now, for the armor, I would either go with Monk's Robe or Dragonhide. Monk's robe are very cheap, it helps save prayer, but you can die easily from PKers. They might target you over other people because you really don't have any defense bonuses. You could take Dragonhide, which you can tank PKers a lot easier. You'll be able to teleblock, or block teleblock, I should say. They'll splatter on you. But if you use prayer there, it will drain much faster. So now onto the range portion of the guide. The blowpipe is definitely the best range weapon to use, reason being is it hits the best, it's super fast, pretty accurate, and also all the ammunition is within the blowpipe itself, so if you die you don't lose any arrows or bolts or anything like that. Now if you can't use a blowpipe, you don't have a high enough range, or maybe you can't afford it, then definitely go with a crossbow or ballista. It is inferior to the blowpipe in every way, but it is a good second choice if, like I said, you can't afford it or you don't have the required range level. Now for the armor, definitely pretty straightforward with this one. Use Black Dragon Hide. I'm going to go over the other items of importance that I would consider when going into the caves. Firstly, a Salve Amulet. Since the Revenants are considered undead, it will increase your attack and strength by 15%, 20% if enchanted. They are incredibly easy to get in bulk, so there is no risk here. Also, you can use a Bracelet of Ethereum, as it absorbs all Revenant damage. Keep in mind that you will need to continuously add Ether to it to keep it charged. It is possible to keep adding to it while killing revenants as ether is a 100% drop from them. Also be aware that the bracelet will always be lost on death as it is impossible to protect. Always use welfare gear. With this money making method you do have a high probability of dying. Do not risk what you are not willing to lose. Use cheap but effective items such as climbing boots, snakeskin boots, mage arena cloaks, avas accumulators, etc. Also, keep in mind that some loots have high alc value, and it is possible you will keep drops such as D-Longs, D-Skirts, and D-Legs over some untradeables. I lost my fire cape from a dragon long drop. Be careful. Set up your inventory like so. The inventory for the melee and range method are basically the same, the only difference being the potions used. I like to bring three super restores to use Pity or Eagle Eye to increase my kills per hour and get the drop over other people. Also, in the picture, I forgot stamina pots. You might want to bring them. Sometimes when you get to the caves, it would be at a run. And if PKers show up, you definitely want to get away. So add a stamina pot to the picture you see on screen right now. To sum everything up right now, here's an example of what my worn equipment looks like. Make sure to have some sort of enchanted dragonstone jewelry on you or some other teleport that allows you to teleport up to 30 wilderness. I am using a slayer ring. It is incredibly important, you definitely want it, it'll make getting away so much easier sometimes because not every PKer will teleblock you. Keep that in mind. So to start off a trip, teleport to the lava maze using a burning amulet. Be careful as this does take you to 41 wilderness. Run east along the lava and you will eventually see a cave. Enter the cave and hug the wall heading south and you'll eventually reach the revenants. Other methods of getting to the revenant caves are the use of obelisks, canoes, and revenant teleport scrolls, but I prefer to use the burning amulet. On screen, I have the route that I'm taking currently. Once you arrive, try to pick a world that isn't completely empty, but one that isn't too crowded. After hours of killing revenants, I noticed I died significantly less when there were other people because the more people, the less likely you will be the one attacked when a clan logs in. Now it's time to kill Revenants. The ones you kill are entirely dependent on your combat level and gear. Your goal is to try and kill the highest ones you can possibly attack. 
All revenants have the same drop table, but the higher level revenants drop higher level items much more frequently. Now I know everyone isn't maxed, but the method that worked best for me was to alternate between the dragon, knight, and orc. Stick to 3-4 to four revenants around the cave and kill them in a cycle. If you are not using a bracelet of ethereum, I found it best to use protect from magic. I want to stress again to be careful here. I recommend turning your attack options on hide for other players to avoid accidentally attacking others. If you skull, people will target you. I want to mention that money per hour can vary immensely. It depends on how crowded worlds are, what level you are, how many times you die, and of course, luck. It is definitely a fun alternative method to do every now and then since you can get lucky with a 10 mil plus loot. Anyways, thank you for watching guys, hope this guide helped you in any way possible. Be careful out there and make sure you say hello if you see me in the Revenant Caves, I'll probably be there for the next couple of days. Take care everyone.